The retail market, if I have to describe it, is explosive. What's happening around is the brick and mortar model is continuing to grow. The e-commerce and the digital landscape is changing the way consumers look at choice. They are no longer constrained by what's available within their vicinity as a physical store. The goods could come from anywhere and they are happy to lap it up. The current position that we see is the number of consumers who have access to quality goods at an affordable price with the range of choices that's available to them is dramatically changing consumers' habit and consumption is on the rise. So it's all in all a good time to be in India as a retailer. If one has to answer what is driving this growth, it's got to be the digital landscape that's changing. There is intense competition in uh, the service providers area of uh, technology moving from 2G to 3G to 4G to LTE. That's giving consumers faster and quicker access and therefore they're not constrained by not able to do comparative uh, you know, evaluations of their choices. With a billion mobile, devices along with the Amazons and Flipkarts and Snapdeals of the world leading the charge with you know festive sales. The consumption and the retail behavior is undergoing dramatic changes. Brands are rediscovering the consumer classical buying model and going back to the roots in terms of how to do brand building in a mobile and digital, uh, digital world today. It's, it's a catalyst for growth but clearly, the choice is what is driving consumers today and the access is making it faster and quicker. Sport and retail should have fused a long, long, long ago. Uh, there have been attempts in the world of sport you know, to join hands with retail, but they have been few and far between. The world of sport and retail needs to move away from replica jerseys to more inventive and innovative product offering for consumers. Consumers believe in, in sport. They express their desire through uh, you know, wearing their uh, team support on their, on their sleeves. But we need to give them a choice. And I'm hoping that retailers, as well as uh, sporting organizations and federations, will realize the big appetite that exists in consumers, particularly the sports-loving consumers, to consumption, on, um, to, to, to actually drive the growth of retail. So, to me, that's a, that's a big opportunity and we are hoping to do our bit at uh, Reliance. I think sport uh, delivers an experience which is, uh, which is unmatched. Uh, if you look at the comparisons between sports and retail, both of them are about footfalls. Both of them are as weekend as they can get. Both of them are looking at consumers to drive from casual indulgences to committed, passionate, loyal uh, behavior. So there is very little difference from a consumer behavior uh, attribute comparison. It's a question of what is that sweet spot that they need to engage with and how can one work with the other. There's a very, very good example of how entertainment and sports have fused together. And I think the time for retail and sports to fuse together is now. I'd like to thank uh, the, the, the Congress, the Retail Congress of Asia Pacific for being inventive to include sports as a part of the roster of conversations to be had. These kind of symposiums help a lot of conversations and new ideas to float around, particularly the way the networking is planned, the sessions are planned, has been wonderful and very, very well thought through. And my compliments to the organizers for being bold and innovative in wanting to include sport in the dimensions of conversations and uh, the, the organization has been fantastic. I mean, from the time you, you uh, agree, uh, or even before that, to when you get invited to be a part of this uh, August Forum, to the time that uh, you spend here has been memorable. And uh, it's, it's very, very well organized. And uh, it's almost like a seamless consumer journey, if I have to speak it in retail terms.